So, but nothing happened at that time. Now the procession. Uh, just before the procession, he went to the baths at that time, and his legs became very agitated. And he said, oh, he's having a procession. He said, yeah, I didn't think so. I, was, I, was, I felt, I got to my feet, I couldn't stand at times. He threw his clothes on, put him back in the stretcher, and rushed to the, to the Rosary Church. That's where Gene Fratelli got his work. And it's a great procession. It goes all the way out and all the way back. And the last person in the procession is the bishop. Or it might be a cardinal. And they have a lot of, a lot of prelates come to him, a lot of persons. So he's blessing, he has the monstrance in his hand. And he's blessing people, you know, coming down the line. And uh, he blessed two ahead of me, came to me, made the sign of the cross with the monstrance, and moved on to the next person. He had just passed by and I realized that a great change had taken place in me. My right arm has been dead since 1915, but it's 1924. But my right arm was violently agitated. I, I burst its bandage and freed my arm. That's a Frankenstein, right? He burst it. And the nerves are hot. That's another thing. You don't have to have the nerves restored for, for function. You can actually do something. People have been blind and they still look at their eyes, they're still no, no life in their eyes that they can see. So then, um, Say doctors came along. Well, I guess you can walk. <laughs> the same three doctors. Well, that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, they didn't notice his arm, I guess. So, uh, 5 30 next morning, I heard the bell of the basilica began to ring and bring out the Ave. I jumped out of the bed and knelt on the floor to finish the rosary. I'd been saying. Then I dashed through the door, pushed aside the two brand carriers, and ran barefoot out of the plaza. I must say I had not walked since 1915. That weight was down to 112 pounds. The man gets away more than the woman. People gathered all around. They came out of everywhere. They heard about this. He went back to shave and everything, because he was still in his pajamas. The priest, Father Gray. Ah. Yes, that's my name. That's your name. Look, we got up here. That's my ancestor. <laughs> my great uncle. Well, anyway, I don't listen, know. This, this, is not, this is not the, man, the other person. I'm, I'm the I other was person. not alive in 1924. <laughs> Father Gray, who knew nothing about my cure, entered the ward where I was and asked if anybody there could serve Mass. I answered, sure, I served Mass. So I served Mass. Did not strange, seem strange to me that after not being able to stand or walk for eight years, I could do this. He had his food, everything was so amazed. And the three doctors came back again. <clears throat> okay, I see you can walk, your arm's perfect, and you have sensation in your legs, and your epilepsy is cured. <laughs> we like those three doctors, they're very good. Yeah. Now, they think the most spontaneous, of all these things happen, the most spontaneous way was that his hand is clear in the right arm. Those nerves have been severed for eight years. Four surgical operations revealed they were truly severed and it failed to reunite them. And even if it did reunite them, you probably don't know this. If you cut a nerve and suit your back, you do it just right with great skill, it starts growing one inch a month. So from here to here, how's that? It's about two years, right? One inch a month, if, if you, if you uh, in the ordinary auto accident, someone cuts the nerve, it'll go back and you suit your right. But he had it. Yeah. Now, he arrived in Lourdes at the vertical wreck, pathological museum. He went back to Lourdes, pushing his own wheelchair, arms and legs normal, with complete cessation of his epilepsy. Now, this is, this is, this is, this is, a, this is, Gene Fratell, that's a Ruth Crampton special. She went and talked to him. <laughs> and uh, in England, she does so much great. Really, this book is out of, out of this is called The Miracle Lord. She's out of right now. Uh, I'm, here's him now. I am the coal and haulage business now. He states, I have four glories, which are trucks, and about a dozen men working for me. I work with them. I left sacks of coal weighing around 200 pounds with the best of them. 